I'm Chance Brake. I'm Sid Smith. And this, this is the BS Boys Outdoors. All right, we're here at Jake's camp. Uh, there we're at the Bull Man. We're at the White Memorial Camp. Uh, Jake's camp is going to be a, a great time this week. Uh, I think there's like you know, 70 or 80 kids here that uh, are going to show up and participate in Jake's camp. It's a beautiful scenery. There's a lot of open ground. Um, and right here beside us, there's an old house. Uh, it's just, it's beautiful. We're at um, Council Grove, Kansas, uh, at the Council Grove Lake. There's cabins you can stay in. You can pop up a tent. Um, yeah, you can pull your your camper, drive an RV out. There's going to be all sorts of fun and games. All right, we just pulled into Jake's camp at the White Memorial Camp. And we're going to show you some of the video heading up there and who's all there. As you just saw, uh, Ray, I was uh, helping uh, the youngsters uh, and teaching them how to turkey call with a box call, a slate call. He had some film of uh, him uh, turkey hunting. He had some film of hens and gobblers and uh, how they make uh, different sounds. Um, now we're going to go over to a different um, event and uh, show, I think this is skeet shooting over here or uh, bow hunting. Uh, might be uh, deer hunting 101, not real sure yet. Um, it's a great morning. I think it's like 61 degrees out here. It's beautiful. Um, I'm having a good time watching uh, the youngsters have a good time and learn how to uh, uh, do the stuff in the outdoors. There's uh, fishing, uh, bow shooting, skeet shooting, um, uh, bird dogs. Um, there's a guy that has a falcon and he'll show them how the falcon flies over the, uh, the bird dog while hunting. So uh, we'll show you more and I hope you enjoy. Whenever you're ready. Nice. Right up here on top. Whenever you're ready. Wait for me to step behind you and then you shoot him, okay? Okay. All right. Take your aim. And whenever you're ready, you shoot him. Good shot. Good job, Rand. Nicely done. Hit it that time. Ready? Ready. Ready. 
did it again. That's okay. Good job. It's okay. Something like that. Okay, safety is on. A little further out. Your hook on your line, you can't do anything very good. If you don't have a good strong knot, the fish is going to get away. This hook here is called a circle hook. See how the barb bends back in? Y'all seen a circle hook? The Japanese invented these things many, many years ago, and they used them in their, they had like big, they call them long lines, but basically what they are is a trot line in the ocean. This is just going to be a little improved cinch knot. You just put the line through there once, pull it back up over, and twist it five, six, seven times. Monofilament line you should use about five or six times. Okay. Then you go back through that loop and make it an improved cinch knot. You go back. Perfect. Yeah. I know what worked with me and my dogs, and I've had a couple of national championships. If, if my technique doesn't work for your dog, you know, there might be something else to try. So this is where we get a lot of manuals, videos, YouTube things, and, and say it's, this is the word, this is what you want to do. Well, you need to at least two have the experience to go with it. Some very good books that you can pick up and read. Can anybody tell me what kind of ducks these are? You know what kind of duck that is? How about you? Is it a duck? No. There you go. See, if that guy's crazy, one thing, if you ever come to my hunter's ed class, I'll play some tricks on you. I want you to know species identification. One thing when you get into hunting and, and you need to make the decision of harvesting an animal, that's your decision. You don't need to harvest everything you see. You can see all the, the different turquoise and everything that's in him, and that's why they call him the ringneck. In fact, he's, uh, you know, his feathers down here, almost a turquoise. Uh, just beautiful, ain't they? The prettiest bird in the wild you'd ever find. Uh, this here, uh, the red on here is all feathers. He, uh, when he gets ready to fight, he'll, he'll bring all this up around his head where he looks like he's got an army helmet on. He, he can move that up on top and ridge up actually on his top. Beautiful birds. <laughs> amazing part of the country to do it in and you know, pretty fortunate to have the, the ground that we have, uh, both public and private. Um, I don't know. Any, any questions? Or? What are you doing after you're done hunting? Uh, no. <laughs> the hood comes off, it's usually time to go fly. So he's wondering why I'm holding him. Um, 
Well, uh, it depends if you mean when I'm done hunting him as far as he's retired for yeah. we're not hunting him anymore. Well, passage birds I can release. I just, uh, I like to take them back to where I trapped them at. So I'll raise their weight, I'll take all my gear off of them, and I'll just let them go back exactly where I found them. What do we want to remember about when? Anybody? We want to remember to have the wind blowing in our face. Have I got a little partner for it? Yeah. Uh-uh. Nope. You want to be my little partner? No. <laughs> <laughs> and sign up. This will be your last chance to sign up for the turkey calling contest. And like I said, it has nice prizes. <laughs> When they're finished, we'll all politely clap and get ready for the next competitor. Number three. We have color number 13. Judges ready? They're ready. Color 13, begin. Thank you. 